Hey, welcome into the King's Forge. This is Pastor Randy, and as you can see, um, I'm not in the forge. And I'm not going to be certain what the quality of this uh, video is going to uh, look like because I'm not using our typical equipment. I'm not in our typical facility. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my little corner office here. And I'm using the uh, basically camera on my on my desktop here to record this. Um, for those of you who follow us in our video segments and don't follow us on our podcast segments, uh, there was a podcast, the last podcast that was well, that was uploaded, uh, kind of gave a detail of, of some of the things that are going on with the King's Forge ministry that many of you who watch the videos have not yet heard. So I want to take this opportunity to sort of fill you guys in. And number one, thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for your subscriptions and all those things. Um, in around 2021, it was that we started uh, doing the podcasts in video. So we've been doing this for a few years now. And the original format, of course, was discussional format with uh, Pastor David, Pastor Mike, and myself sitting at the table, sort of having discussions on Christian topics um, and our goal was to be as genuine as possible and hopefully not to be very preachy about it, uh, just discussional. Um, and sometimes I think we've succeeded in that. And sometimes I question whether or not we have been, um, as non preachy as, as, as possible. Um, but to fill you in on some things, I guess those of you who watch the videos have noticed that for a while now, um, David has been absent. And the, the reason for that is, is shortly after we started do, doing the videos and podcasts, David was diagnosed with cancer. And David has undergone um, uh, surgery. He has undergone different therapies to deal with the cancer and over the course of the this time, the, the cancer has metastasized into his liver. Currently, um, they were discussing some different therapies to deal with what's going on. And the doctors right now have become somewhat trepidatious because um, as the cancer in his liver affects his liver, so too does chemotherapy affect the liver and it becomes more complex when the liver is already compromised to introduce um, medicines and chemicals that can be hard on the liver. Um, and what they don't want to do is, is push that too far. And so uh, David's care has changed dramatically. Um, and as of about two weeks ago now, I think that David was placed on hospice. About 10 days ago, give or take, uh, Pastor Mike suffered a stroke. And as of this recording, today is Saturday, February 17th, 2024. He has undergone two different surgeries. Um, he is currently in hospital having had surgery yesterday. And um, they expect him to recover. Um, but... Uh, he's going to have to recover, and once he recovers from the surgery, he's going to have to have some rehabilitational needs to uh, deal with the effects uh, uh, of the stroke. So how long it would be before Mike is back in the forge at the discussion table, we don't know yet. Um, how long it might be before David's back is, at this point, David's return is is uncertain. Completely uncertain. We're not as sh we're not sure, and so having a Christian discussion format continue on when you're single or solo is quite challenging. So I'm going to try to be uh, inviting others to come and sit with me to have the discussion as much as I possibly can, and when I can't do that. If I can't facilitate having one or more people at the table, then I'm going to endeavor to continue to record um, at least as frequently as possible. And I and I pray that I can keep this on a on an even kill and keep keep uploads on schedule. Um, I'm going to do my best, um, and that brings me sort of to today's topic. Now that I've sort of brought you guys up to speed, 
And today's topic is the, the topic of steadfastness. Um, I will admit, I don't think that I have ever composed a sermon on the topic of being steadfast. And let me just start off by just go ahead and reading the definition of steadfast. It's an adjective and it means to be firmly loyal or consistent or unswerving. It also means to be faithful, fixed, unchanging, or unmovable. So that is what steadfast means, to be steadfast. And and I preface that because I want to read to you now from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I'm going to, uh, pardon me, I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to start at verse 50 and I'm going to read through 58 and then I'm going to focus on that final verse uh, dealing with this topic. So we'll just start here at 1 Corinthians chapter 15 starting at verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that was written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is is not in vain in the Lord. And so recently that's sort of been my verse. Uh, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, we all, if you're Christian, you've all been called into ministry. You may not be all pastors. You may not be all Sunday school teachers. But each of us have been called into the ambassadorship of the divine uh, to introduce Jesus to those who have never heard of him, uh, to inform people on what he has done, what he is doing, and what he's yet to finalize, and to encourage them to read the biblical accounts Uh, to discover for themselves information that we ourselves have not yet ascertained. And that's the goal of every Christian. That's the the work, I will say, of every Christian. It's not just the work of the pastorate or the teachers in your your church. We should all be engaged in that. And so we all have a calling to work in the Lord. And I would encourage whatever your gifting is, whatever it is that you do, um, whether... You study in a study group or uh, whether or not you witness to people in Walmart or in you know retail locations or whatever it is, however you approach the um, exercise of your faith and the witness of Jesus Christ, that you be steadfast. There will be moments when you will encounter obstacles. There will be moments when sometimes you feel like, you know, your strength comes from being part of a team. And then there's going to be moments, uh, such as I'm facing right now, where the team is down. They're not out, but they're down. And, you know, things must continue. And so right now, it's kind of up to me to to shoulder a lot of the burden of our, especially our podcast and videocast, certainly, but... Uh, much of our other endeavors. Uh, I'm not alone totally, uh, and thank goodness. Uh, but there's a lot more on my plate than what's currently was there. So 
today's going to be a short video. It's going to be a short message, but I want to encourage every one of us uh, to remain steadfast, uh, to trust in the Lord, even at times when you may feel overwhelmed. And I'll be honest with you, I, I at times feel overwhelmed and, 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 and inadequate to continue to uh, to do a discussion program solo. Um, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to live for him who died for me. I'm grateful that the Lord has, has given the forge this platform and, uh, I will to the best of my ability endeavor to be steadfast, uh, to honor the God who entered his own creation and died for me because it's the least that I can do. Hey, listen, thank you very much. Um, I hope that, um, today's message helps you in some way. Uh, we'd like to thank all of you for your support. And if you'd like to help us and continue your support right now, we could desperately need it, especially your prayers for Mike and David, their respective families and their doctors. Uh, I could use as much prayer <laughs> to, to keep me running. Um, and if you'd like to send some cards and letters and just to, to say, you know, Hey, hang in there and we're with you and we love you. And, and just words of encouragement. I, I welcome all of that. And I, you know, I'm asking you for it. Uh, send it to the King Sorge post office box 2590 Shelbyville, Tennessee, three, seven, one, six, zero. And at least for the short term future, if you have ideas or concepts, or maybe you have a topic that you'd like, uh, dug into here in the forge that you want to hear about. Um, I'm going to ask that in the short term that you send all your correspondence, your electric correspondence to me as Mike and David, uh, right now are, are, are going to be for the short term, unable to answer some of those things. Uh, you can send that to me at Randy at sharpening dash iron.com. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for your support. Um, we love you. We want you happy. We want you blessed. And we want to see you here in the King's Forge. Thanks.